Hello everyone, this is Gleb and today let's look at the case where you can have the same type of components or items on the page. In this case we have the first list of recent items and then we have a list of all items or all products. And notice that they overlap, right? Uh, recent items can include items from all. And I'm trying to verify the apples. Now, the items, as you can see, the markup has different properties or different attributes depending if they are rendered inside a recent list versus all products. And I'm trying to verify, for example, the apples and to make sure that product ID and data price are correct. So if I just use site contains, for example, selector li and I'll say apples, well, it finds the wrong apple. It finds it one from the recent, but I want to verify the ones from all products. The easy solution is to have some kind of selector for each container that has the items. So in this case, I can say, get me the items and within you can say, for example, site contains a lie or even get all I items and should have length above let's say two just to make sure that they're loaded and if we double check notice the apples inside all products is found and we can verify the attributes by saying should have attribute data product id and then the string value 190 we can uh, repeat the assertion have attribute data price and again it's a string so 299 so I'm using side within here. We can improve this just slightly. We can combine the selector and use side contains uh, right here, contains, okay? And we're saying inside the element with ID items that should be li with text apples. So we can find it right away. We can also do another optimization the data attributes are in the DOM elements data set property. So we can do a following. We say should have prop data set, I believe. Okay, it's there. If we open the DevTools and we click on the assertion, well, we can't really see it, but let's do the following. Let's convert it to a plain JavaScript object using this trick json stringify then json parse back and then console log let's see how this works okay so we have a plain object with product id no notice it changes to camel case so now we can say should deep equal to an object product id 190 price 299 still a strings and the only problem right here is that if you use site then you break the chain of queries and retryability. So if you have dynamic attributes that are loaded, not right away, but after a while, then it won't find them because it will only see the first object. So in this case, what I suggest you get, get the data set and then use my Cypress map queries that has two plain object query. So this is a query, so if assertion fails, it will go back all the way to site contains and find the DOM element again and again. So to plain object is your friend. So this is how you would make sure that you write the fine element inside the right container on your page. You make sure you use site within or you combine the selectors to make sure you find the parent, the correct parent container, and then find the item you're looking for.